Hello there players, I am Aya Lightheart and I am a clairvoyant channel. Welcome to my vortex. I want to share with you my abduction stories from my early childhood all the way up to maybe even last night. I've always felt that I have been abducted by extraterrestrials and by the way I usually call them cosmic brothers and sisters but just to make a distinction between what I feel is very high vibrational, very loving, um, high vibrational beings, I'm going to call them my cosmic brothers and sisters. And then <laughs> the other ones, like the little grays, the tall grays and mantis, mantis beings, those are just extraterrestrials for now. So I do have different relationships with them, with the high vibrational beings. It's all about, it's all about a partnership and a collaboration versus the greys and the, those kind of entities. I'm just learning about them and what is their own, what is it that they do and why they have been abducting me for so long. So back in December, I connected with my hybrid children, specifically one of them, her name is Emily, or at least I call her Emily. And it was such a beautiful process how I connected with her. I was going through my own um, channeling upgrades, if you want to call it that way. I was just learning different ways of connecting with my cosmic brothers and sisters. And I had this amazing guy, which I call him Num, and he's an Arcturian, and I just think of him as my channeling coach. <laughs> and he was helping me remember um, this other part of self that I haven't really connected with, in this case, it was my hybrid children. It was such a beautiful experience, and at the same time, I felt that I just had a release. Like, I just had this um, experience, at all, or a group of experiences coming together, and, and, it, and it, was, it was amazing, but it was also like, oh, so I was part of the hybrid program and all my dreams from my childhood are now making sense. Um, but it took me, it took me a while. And the way I refer to this is, or the way I connect with spirit is, um, the spirit gives me pieces. So it's putting the pieces of the puzzle together. So that was one piece. And then as the days, uh, went on, um, I started receiving more and more information through my dreams, through channeling, through daydreaming. And I've been putting this puzzle together. It's still not complete, but I didn't want to uh, keep waiting to share this with you because I know that if you are watching this video, it's because probably you feel the same way. Probably you feel like you have been abducted by extraterrestrials or have had a contact. And I honestly just want to focus on saying that it is okay and that you're here and that we can we can move past this and we can make something beautiful out of it and truly release the trauma that may may or may not be in your body and shift that the same way i've been able to do it and move past it and actually see a bigger picture and understanding of what is happening if this resonates with you please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below um, let's talk about it. Let's make this something that uh, we can just discuss and heal. That's the most important thing. Really shift that vibration of trauma so that we can truly step into our power and have these interactions with cosmic brothers and sisters that is high vibrational, that is really going to um, share your mission with the world. Some of the things that have been coming up to me uh, from the hybrid program is that the hybrid children really need our love as well. They're all children. They may not be here on earth, but they still need uh, and look for and that, that love and that connection. Um, so that's another reason I'm making this video. The other thing that happened recently that gave me another piece to the puzzle was the regression. I literally just had it done a few days ago and it helped me so much because it brought me like, a massive amount of pieces to my abduction puzzle and it was so healing and afterwards after remembering 
um, so much from those abductions, I felt whole and I felt like I was able to release so much trauma from my body that I didn't even know was scaring even from my childhood. Um, and some of the things I was able to remember were three different spacecrafts, so three different programs. The first one was about the hybrid children. And just to tell you a little bit about it, it, it was as if I was walking to, um, it was in the spacecraft, but I was just walking in a hallway or something. And there were some tanks with some babies in them, like in water, and they were just floating. And there was like some uh, women close to these tanks. I know it sounds really scary, but again, that's not my point. It's just that about remembering and creating awareness and um, then after that, I went through some procedures, but it wasn't like what would you think of a surgeon and actually cutting me. They use a lot of laser technology. So I don't remember feeling any pain or anything like that. I also felt that they had something on my neck to hold me on this table. And the feeling of being in the spacecraft was like if it was really cold in there because it felt so it was just metal or what it looked to me like metal, but actually I was fine. And the other thing that I've been remembering is that even though I know in my heart that it was a gray, a tall gray holding my hand as a child, um, I the way I pictured him growing up, it was just like a human hand. And what I learned recently is that they use a lot of illusion techniques. so. Um, that can be tricky. It can feel like a human if they make it sometimes comfortable as a child. So I was not scared. Um, but now when I look back, it's like, well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but again, I don't have trauma around it anymore. I knew I was part of the program at a soul level. I accepted that. Um, and now I have my hybrid children. I'm very grateful for them and to, to continue to, to learn about them and see how we can collaborate and make something amazing out of it. Um, of course, with the intentions of always being in high vibration um, for everyone involved. And the second spacecraft, um, I remember being with other uh, hybrid kids, but, um, and I feel it was like a Nordic thing. She was just looking at us as we were playing with some um, plane, I should say, because it was almost as if they were testing us, but to me it just felt like play. And it was some sort of cubes thing that we needed to put together. And I remember the other beings, it was a hybrid reptilian and a hybrid, um, Arcturian being or child they look like children to me because they were so young in my eyes but they were not really there it was as if they were projecting them to my area so I remember I feel that it was so powerful when we connected um, with the other beings there were two more so it was um, like five of us five hybrid four hybrid beings and myself in there connecting and I felt it was so heart centered and high vibration. Like it was just something that we were working as a team, as a collective. So that was the second spacecraft. And the third one, it was like a healing dome thing that where um, I just, I just feel that we were laying down for like a recovery session after having had um, surgeries or some sort of um things in our body the word that keeps coming to mind is harvesting like if they were harvesting uh my eggs or my dna or something along those lines but i remember the spacecraft being very intelligent where you know when you go to the doctor or the hospital they have all these machines uh, that are uh, individual machines in the spacecraft it felt as if the walls had that kind of technology and it just knew how to support us in that recovery or what I call the recovery transition. Um, I had different experiences that I remember when I was a kid where I wanted to scream. I think they call it sleep paralysis, but I literally felt someone come into my room and, and, and this being inside of my bed. And I remember trying to scream for my mom and my brother and of course they didn't hear me. And after that I was gone and I was in the craft and then they just dropped me into my body again. Now, um, 
one thing in my guys are, are reminding me is that sometimes this abduction happened physically, meaning they take the full body and they take you to the spacecraft. But in my case, most of the time, it just uh, it's like almost astral projecting or astral traveling. I don't really have a way to describe it, but I know that my body stays here um, and they just take that. And that happened so much when I was a child. I could literally not remember what I did like the, an hour uh, before uh, interacting with my mom or someone like I can never remember where it was or what I did and that is super common a lot of people report this not um, missing time missing periods of time or appearing or waking up in different areas that is all uh, part of um, extraterrestrial abduction so if you have had any of these experiences, please share below with me. I would like to know. Uh, and more than anything, if I can be of service to you in any way to help you achieve that vibration or help you remember more of these experiences to, to transcend them and to raise that vibration, um, to really start communicating and interacting with, with this other being in our cosmic brothers and sisters that are here to be fully in support of our evolution. Now, I'm not saying that the other beings are not, it's just the way we see them and the way we think of them and what they do may feel like it's lower vibration, but in reality, it's just a process that most likely at a cell level you agree to. So, but I understand as a human <laughs> that it can be a little bit uh, tricky at times, especially when we just want to sleep. <laughs> so. Um, again, if this resonates with you, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. I see you and I love you. Thank you for everything that you do to raise the vibration of humanity.